do you want affordable original and good quality K-pop merch, but can't find a good store? Then Cockadive is a place for you. Cockadive is all about K-pop albums and goods. From albums and light sticks to plushes and photo cards. You will find everything related to your favorite Korean artist at cockadive.com. They have express worldwide shipping. And guess what? Everything is official. Wow. You can order from cockadive.com right now by clicking the link in the description box below. Use the code BANGTAN to get 10% off of your first purchase. Now let's get on with the video. Hello again my gorgeous darlings. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I asked Yad a few days ago to send me your K-pop confessions and I received a lot of replies. Now I won't be able to go through all of them in this video, so I'm sorry if I didn't read yours. I took some confessions from Reddit as well. Also if you easily get offended then I will not recommend you to watch this video any further. Now let's get on with the video. Hitting high notes doesn't automatically make you a good vocalist. The overall quality of singing is highly important. By simply having the high notes one doesn't automatically count as a good singer. As much as I love listening to a good high note, I really love a good low note too. Unfortunately we have many pop stands who think they are vocal coaches and they determine whether idols are good vocalist or not by assessing their ability to hit high notes. I feel like there are many vocalists out there who can't sing those high notes, but are amazing singers. Some idols really need to stop dyeing their hair. Yes they do. I mean some of these idols dye their hair every single comeback. There's always that one member in a group who dyes their hair every single time. And if you don't know, you constantly need to dye your roots monthly or something so that your black roots get covered. Their hair literally looks so dead. This needs to stop. I think the visual member concept is stupid. Exactly girl. I think it's idiotic, meaningless, and useless. Companies should debut only those members that they plan to incorporate in their songs. Leaving a member as a side dish under the title of visual member and giving them the least amount of lines wasting their amazing talent is literally stupid. I think Soyeon doesn't deserve the hate she is getting. Yes. I mean if she's contributing so much to the music making process of their songs it is valid that she will receive better treatment than the rest of the members. While I would love for everyone to have equal attention, but so yon deserving special treatment is fine. Also if she is being rather different than the rest of the female idols and defying norms then she is a true leader. She screams women empowerment. I respect her a lot. Group names are getting bizarre as time goes. You just stated a fact honey. For real though. What the hell is iZone, from S9, SF9, Weekly, Gravity. No hate to the groups. I'm talking about the people who named the groups. Whoever came up with these names, needs a long term vacation. Jeez. Momo can't sing. I don't know why so many onces don't really like her voice. She might not have a great technique. But I don't get why people hate her voice. I know at some parts it sounds a bit nasally, but I don't think that's a problem. People have their own ways of singing. I wouldn't say she's the best, but I personally enjoy her voice. I thought VLive is an app for V from BTS. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. I want Red Velvet to disband. Why the hell do you want them to disband? Is it affecting your personal life in any way? Is there any problem with their existence? Like what the heck is wrong with you? Sheesh. I don't find J-Hope attractive. Oh really? Then you're getting blocked. Not in front of my salad. I thought Momo Land was a place where Mamamoo performed. Wait are you for real? That is actually so smart. Gosh this robot voice makes me sound so emotionless, but I'm loving this, lol. I though J-Hope's name was pronounced as ho si ok and jin's as si ok jin. 
Lisa is the best female K-pop dancer. I think this differs from person to person. I don't think I'm at a place to say who's a good dancer or who is number one. But I have to say that her dancing is incredibly sharp and clean. She keeps it simple. Also her stage presence plays a huge role in her dancing. In conclusion, Lisa is a very good dancer. However I don't think I'm at a place to say she is the best or number one as I'm not a professional dancer. K-pop fans need to chill with hating on concepts. I'm sure you've seen many people hating on girl crush and many people hating on cute concepts and many saying that they need to see different concepts. Like please stop. Red Velvet does many versatile concepts. The perfect example would be Zimzalabim. It's a very different concept, but do you see people praising it? They got hate due to that concept. So in summary these people hate girl crush, cute concepts and any other concept ever used so what do you want idols to do? Sit back and do nothing? Sounds legit. Okay that's all the confessions I will be going through today. This video was literally so fun to make. If you really enjoyed this video then like and comment down below more confessions that I can use for part 2. The link to my Instagram account is in the description box below so go follow me there if you want to. Thanks for watching. Tiddle.